Born in a family of intellectuals on the 5th of June 1883, John Maynard Keynes is perhaps best known for his views about how governments and central banks need to step in during times of crisis so as to stimulate the economy and create a demand themselves when the private sector cannot. To put it in academic perspective, Keynes believed that demand creates supply, in contrast to Say's law, that supply creates demand. While he sometimes expressed skepticism, he was, believe it or not, for the most part a supporter of free market solutions and keeping government interference in the economy minimal at the beginning of his career, like his father and most of his colleagues. That, however, changed in the 1930s. Some of his most important achievements include 1. Publishing the Economic Consequences of the Peace in 1919, where he criticized the Treaty of Versailles and explained that burdening Germany with debilitating war reparation demands would backfire. 2. In 1923, he released a tract on monetary reform, with many misinterpreting his In the Long Run We Are All Dead quote as a YOLO-like invitation to seize the moment and not care about the future. That wasn't what he meant. He was strictly referring to aspects related to inflation, more specifically to using the quantity theory of money. That's it. 3. In 1936, he published The General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money, the foundation of Keynesianism. 4. In 1944, he was the leader of the UK's delegation at the Bretton Woods Conference. However, the influence of the United States prevailed, with resulting institutions such as the IMF and World Bank being more in line with the vision of the US than that of Keynes.